Minnesota, the front loader makes quick work of the job. Oh, get that car. It's all a profit for the day, just about lost. A wasteful bastard. After expenses, Tim and Jeff will clear about $4,000 on this haul. This on here, buck and a half, that's what it's worth. It's usually not even worth half that. That was a good day. We got a lot of carp. Any haul anymore that's even a full semi full is a good haul. With fishing complete, the focus turns to comedy. I bet Jeff 100 bucks he wouldn't do a stand-up comedy night, and I found a place for him to do it, and now it's just a matter to see if he'll actually do it or not. 100 bucks. How about 100 bucks? I've always been a sucker for a dare. You won't do it. I'll do it, but I can't lose. I mean, even if I flop, you know, what are they gonna do? Take away my my birthday? If I do the improv, you gotta do a strip tease at the old folks home for the old ladies. <laughs> Took the bet, so I think you'll be nervous as all heck up that. until the time comes. I mean, they're not fussy when they get that old. Even your goods may be <laughs> sufficient. <laughs> With a few fish in the boat, Jeff and Ron are pulling in the last of their trammel net. They're all the right size. A lot of times in this late in the year, when you catch a fish or two, they're, they're in groups. So I'm hoping as we go along here, we'll find the main group. We might see a good bunch of fish. A nice cat. We got a really nice set on them. You don't get any better than that. In this section of the river, the current is moving quickly. That's a snag. All right, try it. Hold this. There's what we were hooked on. Is that some old webbing? Yep. And another snag. You're drifting 200 feet in net across the bottom of the Mississippi River. Um, I'm not surprised, but it sucks when it happens. It shredded it, didn't it? I'm not putting it back in there. Maybe it's time to just take a couple days off and enjoy the holidays. We done it up. Pretty much $300 down the drain. That's we might as well just strip those out and go. But is there 50 pounds there? Yeah, they're probably close to 50. I always think I could get one step ahead. Sometimes that doesn't work. Definitely we did not set the world on fire by any means, but we got a handful of nice big catfish. There's a lot of days we come down here and don't catch that many, so it sucks we ruined a net, but I guess you take the good with the bad. We'll call it a day. Back on Lake Pepin, the Johnson brothers are checking their nets left to soak overnight. I suppose I'll go spot that other old hole. Yeah, grab the rope, tie her up. It's got to be that little spark in the beginning every day, hoping I set nets in the right spot and I'm going to catch fish. I mean, there was a few fish hitting yesterday, so I'm really hoping we got some fish going here. Feel any bites down there? Feel. You think sometimes you do a lot of work for nothing. You want to give up, but you can't. Come on, fishy. A carp. And I got one. To most people, what I do probably doesn't look very easy, and it probably isn't very easy. I've done a lot of other stuff, and there's nothing easier than fishing. <laughs> Not too hard. You hear about uh, Riedemann's going to do a stand-up bit for Timmy? No. Did you do it at the bar? We'll have to go check it out. Hey, I'm going to check it out for sure. I thought it was just Bunny right there all by itself. I expect him to fail. <laughs> Get off the stage! Get off the stage! Boo! Oh, you're gonna pull that back in? Yeah. All right. Yeah. It happens. Right? You just yeah, you do a lot of work and you get nothing and one freaking fish in here. I mean, it's just the way it is. You make enough noise. Maybe we've scattered the fish off just enough, even though uh, they didn't do great. We're gonna give them another uh, day or two. Mike and Rick are dropping the net back under the ice for another night. Didn't get much for fish, but we only gave it a day. Hard to tell what'll happen if you let it set a few days here now.
Irony is a principle of comedy. So, for a fisherman accustomed to taking huge chances each day on the water, it's interesting the biggest risk of all is standing in front of a crowd with a microphone. I'm not a stand-up comedian. I mean, I gotta hand it to them guys. That's gotta be tough, because always some a-hole, you know, heckling you or whatever. <laughs> we'll see how funny he really is, I guess, here in a little bit. Most of your good comedians are insane on some level, I believe. So, I, I think I can fit that bill, but I don't know if I'd ever want to do it for a living. I'll stick to the carp. He's a pretty good Joe and a pretty good fisherman, and we'll see if he's uh, worth a damn as a comedian. It's for the show. Oh, no, Ritter's here. I had no idea there was going to be that many people there. There wasn't any room left in that bar. Let me not suck tonight. Kind of feeling for Jeff, because I know he's super nervous about getting up there. Knock him out, Jeff. I also know he's going to do a good job. This is going to be good. It's going to be really good. You know, we didn't have anything like, uh, you know, Nintendos or basically anything. I don't even know if we had our own toothbrushes, but, uh, uh, but people have come to watch this thing, and now I'm starting to wonder what the hell did I get myself into. Sure, come on, come on. There's some one-liners. He's funny if he's good, just fit them one-liners. I kind of anticipated him to, to be a little slow at first, but I, I know he's going to let loose towards the end. I figured I'll stop into Dwayne's place there and use his facilities. And uh, I say, Dwayne, where the hell is your toilet paper? And he goes, I never owned a roll of toilet paper and I never will. Just grab a shirt or something. So I, all right. What the hell do you throw your, your laundry away or what? Nope. Send it home. Mom cleans it up, comes back nice and clean. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Once the dam broke, it started flowing a little bit better. And the rats are in there just tearing your fish house apart. You better get in there. <laughs> That's a surprise. <laughs> so you can have a lot of fun, a lot of fun with poop. And poop can be practical, too, because I have no idea where he comes up with that. Him and the damn toilet smashed right through the floor. <laughs> this is way too good not to not to have him up there doing that kind of stuff. I mean, it's good stuff. I am too, but you don't see me bothering you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take one more? Oh, it was scary in the beginning, and it was a lot of fun at the end. Maybe one day I'll get another shot at doing it again. I think I can do a heck of a lot better. Like, like I said, I'll stick to netting the car, but <laughs> thanks for putting up with me.